Hello, I'm John Paul and I'm here at Rumor Brothers to fit some rear disc and pads on its Land Rover Defender TD5 2001 model. The first thing you do to raise the car into the air, we're lucky enough to have a ramp, but if you haven't, make sure you jack it up and you support it properly with, a, uh, with an axle stand. And now it's the time to take the wheel off. The first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the brake pipe because we are going to fit new calipers to this when we do the disc and pads as well. So you need to clamp off the rear flexible brake hose which comes down to the centre of the axle to the T-piece and if you follow the brake pipe along it comes to the caliper. Now this has still got the steel pipes on so there's a fair chance that we're going to be able to undo this nut but if it's had copper pipes on um, you know, fitted over the years there's a chance that the nut won't come undone so you're, you're going to have to replace the brake pipe as well. But I'm fairly sure get an 11mm spanner yeah and see this nut's come undone so we're going to be okay with this one. With the brake pipe undone and out of the way, it's time to undo the two caliper bolts. Now, they are this double hex kind of arrangement, the same as on this bolt here. So you will need a 13mm double hex socket. And it's just a case of make sure you get the socket all the way on because they do get very, very tight. And then it's just a case of undoing it. So just slacken them both off. Like so. And then continue until they're all both the bolts are out with both of the caliper bolts removed we can just take the caliper forward just put a screwdriver just to pry it out a little bit so that's the caliper off and they're the two mounting bolts and brake pipe tube now we're going to remove the half shaft so five 17 mil spanner size bolts let's take all five of those out Now you might just need a chisel just to get a small chisel, just get in between the half shaft and the hub, just to break off the uh, off the seal. There we go, and then you can remove the half shaft. With the half shaft removed, you can now see the, the centre nut that holds on the whole hub. Now, you can see this nut actually is loose. Um, the lock tab has been knocked over, but that should be tightened to 200 newton metres, because although they are taper roller bearings, it's got a centre cap inside that te puts the tension on the bearings, so that nut should be tight. So I'll show you that um, tension plate in a second. So we'll just get our socket, take off the nut, and then just if you put your finger in there just to stop the bearing falling out, if you can slide the whole hub off, then in a second I'll just show you the inside where the bearings are. This is the outer wheel bearing, so you've got your plate that your nut butts up to, the bearing itself, and here is a little spacer plate that goes in between the outer bearing and the inner bearing. So it sits on the inner race like that, and then when you tighten the nut up, it tightens the outer the inner bear sorry, the outer bearing to the inner bearing. And that is the bit that takes the tension, and that's why you can tighten the nut up fully. So you can see the five mounting bolts that mount the disc to the hub. So we're going to get a 14 mil double hex socket, undo all five of those, and then we can pull the disc off the hub. So we've separated the disc from the hub, so then we can place the new disc on the hub, tighten the bolts back up, and then we can refit it back onto the vehicle. So the disc mounted back onto the hub, tightened all five bolts back up to 72 newton meters. Now, if you're putting new bolts in, they're likely to come already pre-loctited, but I would just advise you to put a little dab of Loctite on each thread. And then once that's back on, you can slide it carefully back onto the stub, fit our spacer plates and outer bearing. Then we're use, going to use a new nut and tighten it down to 210 newton meters. I've tightened the nut up to 210 newton meters. Just give the hub a spin, make sure it spins nice and freely. And then you'll see the flat on the uh, stub and the new nut with the outer lock casing on. So you just get a punch and just tap the lock tab onto the flat. So I fitted a new gasket on the half shaft flange. And so then it's just a case of you slide the half shaft down the axle tube and then you've just got to feel its way into the diff so you've got to just wiggle it about so you can find the splines hitting the diff and then 
line up your bolt holes just careful with the gasket put all your five mounting bolts back in and then the M10 bolts so you want to be tightening them up to 75 newton meters before we fit the caliper and the pads just want to get some brake cleaner and just clean both sides of the disc of any of the oil or contamination that's on the disc do both sides make sure it's really nice and clean and then we can uh, fit the caliper so now I'm going to fit our new brake caliper so just fit it over the disc just goes in between the back plate and the hub pop the bolts in and these both want to tighten up to 82 newton meters just the time to put the brake pipe back on there then just give it a little bit of a squirt of some lubricant just to make the nut spin easier on the brake pipe and then it's a case of just re screwing it back into the caliper just start it with your hand to make sure that it's definitely gone in properly and it's not cross threaded in any way and then with your 11 mil spanner tighten the nut back up now time to refit the pad so just put a bit of copper grease on the metal part of the pad where it sits onto the caliper pop up pads into place and then put our spring retainers and split pin type pins in to hold the pads in and then once that split pin is in you just bend the tab over so the split can, pin can't come back out do that top and bottom and then that's the pads in all that's left now is for take the clamp off the flexible brake hose and then using whatever bleeding system you want we're going to use this easy bleed system because it's a great system the dead easy you put it onto the uh, masses and reservoir put it onto a, a spare tire at 20 psi crack open your bleed nipple wait till all the air's gone and then that's it we're done it's the wheel back on and we'll do exactly the same to the other side